Hey guys, short update about the crypto markets. I really love making videos about this um, because while it's what keeps me busy um, at least half of the day and that's when I'm traveling or enjoying life otherwise the whole day. Eh? So um, um, I'm still 60% in altcoins. Only 20% in fiat and only 20% in Bitcoin. I had bumped it to 25% Bitcoin and, and I wanted to also 20 for Actually, I had bumped it to 25% um, uh, fiat and then also 25% uh, Bitcoin, but that meant I had to sell another 10% of my portfolio that was in altcoins. Uh, and, 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 and after a while, uh, what, what do you need to sell? Eh? There's nothing like I sold already so much. I want to keep a stash of uh, NXT, Order, Clumps, uh, Byteball, Zcash. These are my own coins. Eh? And then I'm also following uh, Frank's portfolio, a, a lot of other coins. And, and I've sold plenty of, of everything uh, the past, um, yeah, the past month. Uh, and, 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 and there are, there's a limit eh? because you count your coins and then you see, mm, okay, I used to have so many coins and now I only have so many coins. And what if this thing then falls? Eh? How will I feel? Eh? Because you always know how much coins you once had. Eh? That's something you don't forget. So, at least I don't. <laughs> I know how many Bitcoins I once had eh? and this haunts me. So, um, and that's what happened when something is a big success. Um, well, you know, you make your calculation how rich you could have been eh? if only you wouldn't have sold so many way too early. So that's what keeps me from selling more coins. Um, and, 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 and voila, I'm stuck. But um, still, I'm 20% Bitcoin, 20% fiat. It used to be like 0% Bitcoin and only 10% fiat and basically 80, 90% altcoins. So I did sell a decent piece. And, and, and if this market tumbles, um, then, then I have actually um, uh, secured some money uh, into uh, fiat investments and uh, secured another piece in Bitcoin. But um, like normally, uh, it is true that the odds are in Bitcoin's favor for now versus altcoins, but uh, we'll have to see how that goes. It is only a short-term play in any case, eh? two, two, three months. And um, when the bubble continues, um, altcoins will go up again versus Bitcoin, and Bitcoin will again lose market dominance. So. So in the long term, I think I'm still good uh, in the altcoins. But um, yeah, in the short term, Bitcoin is not a bad play now. But um, right now it's really not happening eh, for Bitcoin. It's just hanging at 1,200 and, um, and the altcoins are really not 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 dropping versus bitcoin so it's um and and and, and i just shared an article i will pin it also on my tweet on top uh, you should check that out it's about the momentum of this bull market and and i think um you know crypto always surprises in both directions it goes much higher than you expect and it goes much lower than you expect later on and 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 this used to be the case for bitcoin but it could well become the case now for altcoins and so altcoins even though they just had a big well, rise eh, from a market cap of two and a half to ten billion you know it, there could follow up another rise from 10 to 100 or from 10 to 50 billion. That is possible. And, um, and, 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 and that would be typical for crypto. Eh? Um, and so, yeah, I think that that's a risk too. So, so you can't sell too much right now. Um, 
what else? Well, uh, I did some more research in non-fiat investments in uh, Iran. Uh, I found that very interesting, that interview. But I looked up some numbers and the P-E ratio of stocks in Iran is actually not 2, 3, but it's 7, 8 uh, on the stock market, the big index. Uh, and, 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 and Iran had, like a couple of years ago, actually, valuations of stocks went up times 10. And then it corrected the past few years, but how can that be an opportunity? I don't, I don't see it. So I, I stopped researching that, and I'm going to research more again. Uh, AngelList, uh, I think that's also very interesting. Non-crypto investment, AngelList, because um, of course that's a real pity. It's only for uh, accredited investors that you can go on there, so you need to be a rich dude. Uh, but um, and, and, and that sucks. Eh? Uh, but if you are a rich dude, you can actually do some great investments there because AngelList is just for uh, startups, so they can raise money there. But it's, it's, it's basically the new place to be in Silicon Valley. Uh, it's online. And, and what you can do there is you don't have to look at all these startups yourself. You can just follow uh, other investors uh, and basically they will invest uh, your money for you. Um, Basically, you follow their trade. So when they invest in something, and they have, of course, you pick those guys that have a, a strong track record, uh, then, then, then you will invest alongside with them and, and they get a, a cut uh, of the profits you make later on. Uh, if it's profitable, they will get a cut. But basically, it's a little bit comparable to, well, investing with a hedge fund manager or, 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 or investing in a managed fund. Yeah somebody else deals with the problems and makes the choices for you and I really like that uh, but startups in the US and I think is, is always a good place to be um, of course now stock markets have gone up a lot eh, but that's the broad markets of course that always trickles down to startups too so so it's not a great valuations so you won't find there right now but the startup game um, mm, well, it's probably a much better investment than, 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 than just the broad stock markets eh? because right now that's not a good investment in the West, uh, the broad stock market. It could actually still go up one, two years, but that's it. And, and, and then you have a huge correction and, and, and so overall it's just not a good entry point. You could have maybe three, four years eh? another bull market, but you're certainly not at cheap valuations now, maybe at average, maybe at high valuation. It's one of those. So, but startups via AngelList is still an opportunity, I think, because, well, it is only a few, like, that. that's the, the, that's the problem in, in, in the investment world is that it's very regulated. And so um, accredited investors, uh, rich guys get access to investing in startups whereas normal people can't invest in startups and that's pu purely due to regulations that uh, well uh, just not allow startups to raise money from um, from 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 small uh, investors uh, because if they do then uh, they need a license and it costs a lot of money and and so they they, they a lot of overhead that a startup can't afford uh, so they have they can can only raise from 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 accredited investors and, and that is it does not cause any paperwork and they can do that via, via angelist uh, among others but the uh, angelist has really just really disrupted um the 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 the, the, the startup landscape it used to be that you had some very reputable vc uh, firms like Sequoia and, and some others and they and all startups wanted to get uh, uh, money from them um, uh, and, 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 and then uh, yeah they basically had their pick and, and, and they, they asked a big share of the startup company uh, and so founders were at a disadvantage there um, but but now many many like Rich guys have found their way to 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 they, to also like have discovered that it's just very, it's it's much more interesting to to invest in startups than in than in 
than in uh, than in just the broad index uh, funds. And so, but 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 of course the problem is that you really need to diversify over a lot of companies because nine and ten goes broke uh, very quickly. Um, one in ten just does flat, and then you have one in hundred that is makes a killing. Eh? And basically, is from the one in hundred you need to have that one in hundred to have good returns. And so, so, so you really need to invest in a lot of companies, and that's very hard to manage for for just a rich dude. Um, it is manageable for a VC firm, but not for just rich people. But thanks to AngelList, you can now. Uh, just diversify over a lot of startups in a very easy way. And you can't just like spread the money uh, uh, randomly because then, then also it won't, won't be sufficient. You need to do decent research and only invest in startups that are promising. And, and so, but if you follow some people that have a good track record in that uh, angel investors uh, active on AngelList, uh, then you can uh, really, um, yeah. Uh, do that eh? diversify a lot of startups while also like trusting someone that really did decent research on it and and only invests in like um has just a good track record in investing in startups that's important so voila a golden tip if you have some profits from the crypto world uh to diversify them uh, i think that's a good uh, direction i hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video 